What is going on, beautiful people? And welcome to the only place in the universe that supplies you fuel for your dreams, goals, and entrepreneur ambitions for the free reality TV. And today, people, we have the world famous bookworm segment going down. And today's book review is Charlemagne the God's book, Black Privilege, Opportunity Comes to Those Who Create. So before we dive into this and go through um, everything, I got to thank everybody for always tuning in every Sunday and Wednesday. Shout out to the new subscribers. Appreciate all the love. Continue to, to tune in. Continue to drop those comments in the comment section below. And continue to show that love, man. Hit those shares button. Tell your friend, your uncle, your mama, your cousin, your, your friend's friends, your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend. Tell everybody, you know? So for those of you who do not know who Charlemagne the God is, he is most famously known for being on a very popular radio show called The Breakfast Club. Now he has other ventures as of now, one being a podcast called The Brilliant Idiots, which I recommend, it's super dope. <laughs> Him and his co-host, Andrew Schultz, really go in. He also has a number of shows on MTV, most notably Uncommon Sense. And the great thing about everything that Charlemagne's on, he brings that same energy. You have to see yes. me when you come yes. to the window, so you Just better like have the same <laughs> He brings that same energy across all those platforms. So naturally, his first book is about his life leading up to his current success. But Charlemagne puts a dope spin on it because it's not just about his life. He adds eight principles that he sprinkles throughout the book that he has learned along his journey. These eight principles being, it's not the size of the pond, but the hustle and the fish. PYP, which y'all gonna figure out what that is, F your dreams. There are no losses, only lessons. Put the weed in the bag. Live your truth. Give people the credit they deserve for being stupid and access your black privilege. So each principle is uniquely tied to pivotal points in his life as he grows up. From when he's a delinquent kid selling drugs, getting kicked out of multiple schools, to when he's a semi-famous DJ getting fired every other year pretty much to the position that he's in now. And let me tell you, the stories in this book are wild. I'm thinking to myself, like, no wonder you got all these principles, bro. You you was a savage, fool. What you talking about? Wait till y'all get to the prom story. Wait till y'all get the prom, to the prom story, and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Fool was a, a grade A undisputed savage. Out of the eight principles, I would have to say the one that resonated with me the most was put the weed in the bag. Now, <laughs> before you guys judge me, okay, just hear me out, all right? Hear me out. Charlemagne made a great reference from uh, the movie Belly, and he quoted DMX, who, who said this. Learn how to put the weed in the bag first, then get money. Let me put that in context. DMX was speaking to a couple of young hustlers, Wise and La Kid, who hadn't even sold their first nickel bag of weed yet, but were already talking about getting big time coke money. Tommy Buns was telling them to slow down and focus on the work in front of them, no matter how small the job might seem, instead of immediately looking forward to the big scores. If they couldn't even put the weed in the bag first, how are they going to go out and become major players? That personally really hit home for me, because I get frustrated a lot of times when I just see I see my end goal, right? And I know that's where I'm gonna be. I know I'm gonna be there. But I, it just seems like it's taking forever for me to get there. And that's where I get really frustrated. And it's really like, yo, just sit here, focus, put the weed in the bag first, right? Learn these steps, take your time, be patient with the process, love the process, and you're gonna get there. So. That is why people that that resonated with me. I know y'all already judged me, but it's cool. It's cool. Now y'all know where I'm coming from. All right. Y'all need to stop judging people. <laughs> okay, people, you know what time it is now. First person to answer this question correctly in the comment section below. I will send you this book for free. Okay. So the question is, what is the number one format? in radio as of 2016 okay so once again the first person to answer this question correctly i will send this 
book to you for free. That's right, for the free. <laughs> now for my rating. I really like how Charlemagne captured his voice in this book to the reader. It really makes a difference to me when I'm reading a book and it feels like the author is literally speaking to me. And Charlemagne's book definitely checks off that box. You can hear his voice. <laughs> you can literally hear his bo voice through the words that you're reading. And how he presents these eight principles uniquely through his journey in life really hits home and really resonates with the reader by you being able to feel like you're walking through the stories that he's he's sharing and then going back and referencing them those stories when you're seeing the principle it all wraps and ties in wonderfully man just it's just a dope read and with that i can only give it a great rating straight up it's a great read great rating and it's just well written especially for the man's first book nothing short of great once again thank you guys for tuning into reality t d um once again guys do not forget the first one to answer that question correctly i will send you this book for free for the beano i ain't playing so the first one to answer that question correctly you're getting this book but really appreciate the love people you guys tuning in always remember to hit that subscribe button man and on top of that drop a comment section in the comment drop a comment in the comment section i'm tripping right <laughs> but let's drop a comment in the comment section below people i don't know what's going on <laughs> for if you've read this book already let me know what you guys thought about it i love the read let me know your opinion tell me your your favorite story um, in the book when you guys read it. Spoiler alert, people. Be careful when you're you're reading the comments because people might drop in stuff you don't want to know yet because you want to read it. But anyways, drop those comments in the comment section below. Once again, hit that subscribe day. Continue to have a great day, week, month. And you guys know what else to do, right? Y'all know to dominate. Y'all know the universe, right? And y'all know to tune into reality TV. I ain't even going to turn up. I ain't even going to turn up. Where y'all always need to be.